So the sweet spot for a great meeting is between half an hour to an hour, right? So important notes, you don't have this, nothing else happens, nothing else matters, right? Ask 80% of the time, only talk 20% of the time. 91% of communication is tonality and only 9% of it's words. Obviously, be enthusiastic, be positive, you know, have a good persona. This is a conversation between two business owners. This is not an interview, right? Owner to owner, business to business. And now act, act as if you are professional, as if you've been doing this for a long time. You have many years under your belt. You're a master degree in finance, business owner, salesperson pitch, and you're actually selling a product to a client, delivering a service to a client, you know, and it's an actual professional 100% meeting. Small so talk. So number one. When they first get join the call, I was going to send the email and everything after the cold call and instead of the meeting with Zoom. Small talk. So one, two minutes. Hey, man, how are you? How was your weekend? How's your day going? Number two, state the intentions. There's a reason for this call so I can find out more about your business to see if I can help you. Is it okay if I ask you a few questions just to see if we're a right fit for each other? Awesome. Great. In terms of clients, what is the process of you increasing your clients and getting to new customers, getting to new leads? And as for profit, would you agree that if you had more clients, more customers, you would get more profit? For your social media marketing strategy, what is it? Do you have a social media marketing strategy? They say yes, they tell you what it is. Okay, what is it? They say no. You say awesome, this is why we're here, so we're having this meeting. They say yes, you say tell me what it is. You know, and you say, oh, uh, in terms of, of the social media marketing agency and running a the actual uh, Facebook page and the ads, would you want me to help you do it with this? They say, sure, yes, of course. What are your goals? What are your visions? And what would it mean for you personally to increase your profit, increase the leads, and increase your revenue? They say, yes, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we seem like the right fit for each other. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you exactly what I'm going to do for you and give you the overview. However, in order for me to move forward with my service and plan accordingly, I'm going to go ahead and ask you how much are you making, what's your revenue per month? Right, and they say my revenue per month is about $5,000, right? I'll say, great, awesome. So you are a gym, right? You make $5,000 per month. That's very typical for a lot of gyms. And how much is it for a membership? $30 per month, right? And obviously, there's people that buy merch, there's people that buy um, gym memberships, temporary gym memberships, so on and so forth. But let's say that everyone at the gym is actually paying for a membership. So you make $5,000 per month, and each membership costs $30. So you have about 170 uh, clients, 170 customers per month. Now, through this process of ads increase, how cool would it be to go from $5,000 per month to $10,000 per month? Or how cool would it be to go from $5,000 per month to $7,500 per month? Now, in doing that, you'd only have to increase your number of customers by about 80 to 90 clients to get to that $7,500 per month, right? So every time you get one person usually equals about two people because they tell one of their friends about it or um, friends work out in pairs, work out in a small group. So let's say one person actually equals two people, right? So let's say that in order to get to that 80 to 90 people, you need 45 people to see the ad because just 45 people already equals 90 people. You follow? So let's say you increase your customers from 170 per month to 260 customers per month. 260 times 30, which is the average for, you would get above $7,500 per month. Now I'm gonna multiply that by 12 months because there's that many in a year. And in a year, your profit, your revenue would be $93,000. So your old profit, 5,000, your old revenue, 5,000 times 12, is 60,000 and now your new one is 93,000. So you can see that in just one year,
we've increased your profit by over 150 percent think about that do you like what do you like what you hear does everything make sense for you in terms of growing your business and how it works with posting ads and more people are actually going to see the ads so with that what happens is you post the ad and it targets people in the area so the target audience let's say your audience is 20 to 40 year olds in the area that want to get in better shape so people um, that are following people that work out following gyms the target audience what the ad does is it automatically shows up on the person's feed so let's say there's a 30 year old right who wants to get in shape you know it's the new year's it's gonna be summertime the summer bod oh man i want to get in shape they're looking through facebook and they see an ad for um crunch fitness they're gonna click on the ad and they're actually gonna go ahead and sign up you already got a new customer and that that's gonna happen in the area to 10 20 30 40 50 people so on and so forth now as we talked about earlier 50 people really means 100 people because they always bring one of their friends significant other so on and so forth so the 100 people you, you just got just from posting one ad do you think we can work together all my meetings I do exclusively through zoom and any questions or concerns feel free to email me of course in terms of price I'd say for all the services that I am gonna provide for you I would go ahead and do it for two thousand dollars per month they say no you say it's okay I understand thank you for your time and obviously it's a win-win situation take what you learn from this meeting go ahead and do it everyone with the information have a good one they say let me think about it that's when you go through the, the Antonio lead right you say let's say the name was Jennifer right Jennifer when a customer or a client says I'll think about it it either means two things number one is they're actually not interested at all or two is they're interested but they're not quite sure so which one are you she said no I'm interested but I'm not quite sure it's a great awesome so if that's the case there's only three reasons why you would not be so sure number one would be we're not a good fit for you Two would be functionality of the service, and three would be finance. So, are you, for us, are we a good fit for each other? She says, yeah, a good fit. To in terms of function, so if we're a good fit for each other, then it's functionality. Is there something functionally or future that you're unsure about? She says, no, it's not a future. Um, she says it's the finance, and I'm like, oh, so, yeah, but. <laughs>